एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम In this lecture, we'll be learning gradient, tangent line, and normal line, and tangent planes. So everybody knows that if you are standing somewhere, then uh, if you want to know which line will be parallel or which line will be perpendicular. So now, tangent means the uh, if you have any point, then you have to uh, the tangent will be just uh, on that point, touching mm -hmm. the surface exactly at that one point. Then normal normal line will be perpendicular to that. tangent line it will just stand uh, the tangent and the normal line makes 90 degree angle but if you are talking in vectors how you find gradient and how uh, at the topic gradient topic will help finding the normal line and then tangent line also hello everyone i am dr seema thakra welcome to s chand academy if you want to study this topic in detail normal line gradient tangent plane tangent line in detail please refer to the book by s chan publishing the e book link is given in the description box below so let's start understanding what is gradient and how uh, with the help of gradient you find normal line and this time we are in vectors and in will be talking not in 2d will be talking in three dimensional surface first i'll discuss gradient part then after understanding gradient will come to normal line and tangent plane so what exactly gradient means and this time we are will talk about surface so our surface is suppose this and it is not a vector this phi will be a scalar function it means we uh, for gradient we need a scalar function or we call it surface also so the definition of gradient is the gradient of a scalar function the gradient of a scalar function is this how we write and to understand gradient of a scalar function first i'll define this del this is just a, a triangle a reverse opposite reverse triangle you can see uh, and uh, a del how we write it is a vector and the vector of this type kind of operator it is it is kind of operator and on what of uh, uh, function it is operating that uh, if it is operating on scalar it become it gives you gradient if it is operating on uh, vector uh, then it is giving you curl and divergence that is different uh, or that is further part so if del operating on scalar function it will give you gradient and now del phi means del phi is gradient del phi is gradient and now i'll operate this and how right and these i j k uh, vectors are these i j k vectors are unit vectors corresponding to so this is i with respect to corresponding to x axis j with corresponding to y axis and z axis the k and these are unit vectors unit vectors means unit vector means the mod of each is one that is why we call them unit vectors so del by del by k del by del z i am operating it on phi so when i'll operate it means uh, del by del x will be operating on phi del phi by del x then del by del y operating on phi so it will become del phi by del y then it is operating on phi and it will become so this complete expression is gradient and can you see the gradient answer has or the gradient expression has i j k it means gradient 
of a scalar function is scalar function phi is a vector. It is a vector. So now one example. I am taking one scalar function. So let's take it. So this is my scalar function, and uh, I want to find out gradient. Gradient of phi, I write del phi. I can write. So how del phi uh, in this case we'll be finding? How to find? First, I'll write i. Then phi derivative with respect to x partially. It means you will keep y and z as constant. So with respect to x, the derivative will be three x square minus. This will be zero because there is no x, and then this will give me three six uh, x y. So this is my i component plus j. Now uh, with respect to y, you will write the derivative. So with respect to y. Uh, this will be zero and minus three y square z plus three x square. Now with respect to z, with respect to z there is only one term, so the derivative will be z derivative will be one and it is. So it means this whole uh, complete vector, this complete vector is the gradient of this scalar function, and this is how we find the derivative. It means what you do, you write i and then Uh, uh, phi derivative with respect to x, you write. Then j, you write, and then with respect to y derivative, then k, and then with respect to z, you write the derivative. This calculation will give you the vector, and this will be the gradient phi. Now, sometimes what happened? The phi is not in the proper form. It means find the. We call it grad phi also, in short. For the scalar function, three x square minus y square z plus y equal to two. So this time phi is not uh, clearly visible. So what you will do? You will make phi first. So let phi is take the complete expression to one side. So three x square. Minus y square z plus y minus two equal to zero. This is how if phi is not clear in the question, then you this is how you will be writing the phi function. Now grad phi, grad phi or del phi. How you will find? Again, i you will write and derivative of phi with respect to x. What it will be? Six x. Then plus j. With respect to y, the derivative is minus two y z plus one, and plus k. With respect to z, the derivative is minus y square. Sometimes in the problems, you are asked to find grad phi of the particular function at some particular point. Suppose at one zero one. It means after finding grad phi, after finding grad phi, what you will do? You will put x as one. Y as zero and Z as one, and then at particular point you will find the grad phi. So grad phi at the point one zero one. Put the values. So six i minus Z uh, y zero. So this will become zero plus J and minus k value zero k. It means the vector is in just x y plane. Not in x y z plane. So this is the grad phi at particular point. So we have learned in part one how to find uh, what is gradient, how to find gradient of a particular scalar function, and if we want to find gradient phi at particular point also, that also we have learned. In part two, we'll be covering or we'll be taking normal line and tangent plane and tangent line. If you want to study the uh, topics gradient. normal line tangent plane in detail please refer to the book by s chand publishing the ebook link is given in the description box below don't forget to share like and subscribe s chand academy press the bell icon for the future updates stay connected stay tuned keep watching the upcoming videos thank you
All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.